To write the formula for iron 3 bromide, we go to the periodic table and we look up iron. That has an element symbol of Fe. We then look up bromide. We're looking for bromine. That's Br. Iron's a metal, then bromine, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. We need to think about the charges on this iron here and on the bromine. The name right here, iron 3, that 3 tells us the charge on the iron, and that's 3 plus. The bromine, when we look that up on the periodic table, that's a 1 minus. These charges, they need to add up to 0 to give us a net charge of 0, because iron 3 bromide, that's a neutral compound. Right now they don't, but we can change the subscripts here to make that happen. We use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the 1 down here and the 3 over here. We don't write the 1 and get rid of this. That's the formula for iron 3 bromide. We should check our work, make sure that we got it right though. We said iron because of the Roman numeral 3, that's 3 plus, and the bromide, the bromine, we looked that up on the periodic table, that has a 1 minus ionic charge. So we have three of these bromines here. Each one has the one minus. Three times one minus, that's three minus. One iron times the three plus, that's three plus. So three plus, three minus, they add up to zero. We're done. This is the correct formula for iron three bromide. Let's clean it up a little bit. That's it, iron three bromide, FeBr3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.